The old saw holds true, ATM stands for accessory to mugging. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. Here we have three different muggings, two in Virginia and one in Texas, that all three happen at an ATM. We're gonna learn important lessons here about the dangers of an ATM, about the importance of awareness at an ATM, and when to fight and when to comply. We see a woman here at the ATM and she's about to get out and you can see the guy creeping up on her car behind her, but she's totally oblivious. The big lesson we learn here in today's different videos is to be aware, especially around the ATM, because you get sucked into your attention all being on the ATM and that leaves you vulnerable to predators. And we can see this guy finally decide when his time is that he's gonna come up. And when he does, he is going to then push this woman out of the way and he wants the money coming out of the ATM. Thankfully, he wanted her money and not her body. Now, she's obviously aghast at this and she's being pushed back into her car, but she's gonna decide here pretty quick that she wants to fight him for the 20s coming out of the ATM here. Now, I wanna think about whether that was wise or not because he could just decide to turn around at any given moment and pummel her and there's probably not a lot that she could do unless she was a tool user or she had some significant empty-handed skills which it doesn't look to me like she has so awareness and not being out of her car like this and letting him come up in the first place was probably her best bet now, this is a separate incident at the same atm different car here you can see this woman hadn't gotten out of the car so instead of coming around to her side he decides to go in the passenger door lock your doors in your car once you get in the car because he jumps inside that car, now she's gotta have a fight with him inside the car, which she chooses to do and keep the money away from him, which again, thankfully he's unarmed and just wants the money and so he doesn't beat the crap out of her. He decides instead that he is going to run off here and what we're gonna see them as then are, are they're arguing with each other and bickering at each other. He's just gonna grab what he can, which wasn't much, and he runs off and now she's left with the memories of him invading her space. Now this next one, however, is very different. This guy's walking away from the ATM. You can see that it's at night, and this guy just walks up to him with a gun, and so he's like, okay, man, this guy's got a gun. I'm not fighting you for it. Gets down on the ground, gives the guy this money out of his wallet, no problem. When it's not you know, somebody that's unarmed here, when somebody's armed, they've got the drop on you, they got a gun out, just give them what they want. Even as, as somebody who's a self-defender, I just say in this instance, listen, he's got the drop on you unless you can really launch a counter ambush, which would be very difficult, don't try to. So again, the keys in this particular instance, don't use an outside ATM if you don't have to. If you have to, make sure that you are aware of everything that's going on around you and only resist if you can launch a counter ambush or it is not a deadly threat so that your life is not at stake and cover your ASP.